Um, she had previously called the Hunter Biden laptop a, a Trump campaign product, um, seeming to discredit its validity or <clears throat> validity of reporting surrounding that. Um, how can, can you assuage concerns of people who are looking at this person who's been appointed to this position and wondering if she's going to be able to accurately judge misinformation now that a lot of that reporting has been uh, proven to be factual in some ways? Well, I don't have any comments on the laptop, but what I can tell you is that it sounds like the objective of the board is to prevent disinformation and misinformation from traveling around the country in a range of communities. I'm not sure who opposes that effort. Jen Psaki says she doesn't know anybody who would oppose this. Right here. I oppose this because the attempt to ban all disinformation is more harmful to our way of life than the disinformation itself. And that is because it's impossible to decipher in real time what is disinformation and what is actually truth. And we're going to appoint a board of unelected people to decide in real time how to do this. It's impossible to do, and, and they're oftentimes wrong. And so what happens is they label truth as disinformation and they ban it. And so that is an attack on our free speech. And there's tons of examples of this, even over the last couple of years. The COVID protocol was an easy example of this. They said that it was disinformation to say that masks do not stop transmission. Many of us said this, particularly cloth and surgical masks. And it is later found out that it didn't stop transmission in any measurable way whatsoever. It gave people a false sense of security. So they thought they could go outside in their stupid surgical masks and they would not be able to get COVID. Turns out most of them did get COVID because they had a false sense of security. It was the same thing with the vaccines. A lot of us said, hey, this doesn't make any sense. It's it seems like a lot of people are still getting in it and it's not stopping transmission. Gave them a false sense of security, labeled disinformation when we said that, and you actually ended up putting a lot of people in risk that they would have not otherwise been in if we could have just told the truth that the vaccine did not stop transmission. Okay, so that along with many other things, the origin of the virus itself, a lot of people called us racist for saying, hey, where did this come from? It may have come from a lab in China. Turns out it probably came from a lab in China. So all of these things, the Hunter Biden laptop, the Russian collusion, all of these things that were labeled disinformation in real time turned out to be true. So now we're supposed to believe that the same people that labeled all of these things as disinformation in real time that ended up being true will now magically be able to decipher truth from disinformation in the future. That obviously is ridiculous. And so that's number one. Number two is that any time that you have free speech, there's going to be misinformation out there. It's your job as a private citizen to be able to keep yourself informed and decipher through that. There are going to be people who say things that are untrue. It's your job as the private citizen to sort through that and not the government. When you give the government that power, you no longer have free speech. They get to dictate what is true and what is false. That is not a risk I'm willing to take.